guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're kicking off a one week one palette with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nouveau palette. This was highly requested from you guys. Your wish is my command. This palette's stunning. I'm actually really, really excited to get into it and play with it all this week for you guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm looking down at it and I'm like, hmm, I'm a little perplexed on what kind of looks I can do, but let's see how much I can get out of my comfort zone and how much I can get my creativity flowing this week with this palette. So before we get started, don't forget to upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday for you guys. If you like this video while you're watching it, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel out. And other than that, if you're excited and you want to see a one week one palette with the ABH Nouveau palette, then let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, we're going to go ahead and just kick it off for day one. And we're going to start off with this Fleur shade right here. With the BK Beauty 201 brush, we're going to just fluff this into the crease. I didn't get a whole lot on my brush. I don't want it to be too, too pigmented. Yeah. Ooh, this shade is really pretty. It's like a dusty rose. Gonna get a little bit on this eye as well. Then I do want to deepen it a little bit with this Metro shade. With a Scott Barnes 62 brush, we're just going to pop this into the crease as well. That Fleur and that Metro shade work together perfectly. A touch more of that Fleur shade just to really buff and blend this out. Then I am gonna take a little bit of this Muse shade right here. I'm a little bit nervous to use this because it's not a matte. It's more of like a satiny sort of shade, but I want to deepen the outer corner a little tiny bit. This is a pretty deep shade, so I'm hoping it doesn't get too, too deep. Okay, there we go. This seems like to be a buildable shadow. And this is a Refer 01 brush. Okay, yeah, this is working really well. Even though it's not a matte shade, there's like no fallout or anything and it's almost performing like a matte but just has a tiny bit of sheen to it. It's a lot easier of a shade to work with than I thought it was going to be. Just going to buff this out. I didn't want it to be this deep and dark but here we are. <laughs> so that Muse shade is definitely buildable but it builds quick so be a little careful. <laughs> then we're going to put NYX glitter primer on the inner portion of my lid and we're going to take this really pretty Lily shade right here. Oh the shade is so pretty. It's like a goldy rose gold pinky sort of shade it's got a bunch of different color sparkles in it as well Ooh, yeah i'm liking this Ooh, look how pretty that is i like it Alrighty, and that's where we're going to keep the eyes i'm really liking this lily shade i think it's super like dimensional and sparkly and super super pretty so you guys know the drill or if you are new here and you do not know the drill with my one week one palettes i go ahead and go off camera i do the rest of my face i come back on show you the completed look and i tell you what blush and lip products i chose but everything will be listed down below in the description box by each different day so you know exactly what i wore on each day so if you see like a highlight or maybe like a foundation you're like oh what the heck is that that looks cool and i don't tell it it is all in the description box for you i'm also going to go ahead and have my one week one palette playlist link down below this is like my 13th or 14th one so i've done this quite a bit with quite a few other palettes so i will have all of that down below in the description box for you guys well, let me go ahead finish my makeup i'll be right back and here is the final look for day one for you guys i actually really really like how it turned out it's just a really pretty soft pinky sort of moment and i love like the mauvey sort of shade in the crease and this lily shade on my lid i am hoping you guys can see how like dimensional it is and how sparkly it is Ooh. It's stunning. All I did to finish up my lower lash line was run a little tiny bit of that Fleur shade along it. For blush, I went ahead and used my Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush in the shade Seychelles. I thought it matched the like crease shade perfectly. And then lastly for lips, all I did was put on my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Pillow Talk. No lip liner or anything, just Pillow Talk. So I really like how this all turned out. I really do. I love the like monochromatic sort of look. You guys know. You guys know I love a monochromatic look. So the fact that the cheeks and the lips and the eyes all kind of go together, I am here for it. I'm super excited to keep playing with this palette. So let's go ahead and move on to day two. Alrighty, we're back for day two. The look I have in mind, I'm hoping it looks good on my actual eyeballs. I'm imagining it and envisioning it and I think it's gonna look good, but we'll see. We're gonna start off with this wisteria shade right here. And we're just gonna focus it on like the inner portion of my crease. Taking it all the way to the middle as well. Fun fact, ever since I called this shade Wisteria Lane <laughs> during my first video with this palette and it reminded me of Desperate Housewives, I started rewatching it on Hulu. Well, rewatching is a loose word because I never really watched it when it very first came out. It started in 04, which it's so funny to see like 
the makeup styles and like the clothing styles back in 2004 but I was only 11 when it started so like I know I didn't watch it from the beginning but I remember watching it with my mom and my sister so it must have been like a couple seasons in because there's eight seasons when I was like more a teenager but I remember I really really liked it so when I called that shade with Syria Lane I was like Desperate Housewives <laughs> so I have uh, started watching it again and it's it's good I'm still on season one this was back when like TV was good and there was like there's like 24 episodes in season one and they're all like 42 minutes long and then there's like eight seasons so it's not like a Netflix show where it's like eight episodes long and they're like an hour you know what I mean like this is a show <laughs> that was on syndication for years and I am so excited to keep watching it. <laughs> All right, so that's looking good. This is a part I'm a little nervous for, but we're gonna try it out. I'm gonna take this Liberty shade right now and we're gonna put it on the outer portion and then up into the crease as well, like, and marry the two together here. We'll see how these look together in the crease. Uh, this is on a BK206 and the one I started with is a BK Beauty 202. I'm trying to get better at telling you guys what brushes I'm using. So we're just going to pack this on. I don't want this to be too deep and dark. Okay, so that's going together pretty nicely here in the middle. I was a little nervous that they wouldn't blend together, but they are. Pack a little bit more of that Liberty shade on the outer portion of my lid. All right, we're gonna take more of that Wisteria and kind of bring it over the edges here. All right, I don't know if I'm loving that, but we are here and we're going with it. So we're going to forge on and continue with the eye look that I you know thought of in my mind so again hopefully it turns out good now i'm going to put nyx glitter primer on the middle portion of my lid that is currently empty and we're going to take this wings shade right here which is like a really pretty like silvery greeny sort of shade i don't know should i take bell no i want to i want to continue with like the one that i thought of in my head so we're going to take wings i don't know how this green and purple are going to look but we're going to try it out oh okay I actually think I do like that. Maybe I'll take a little bit of this Hope shade, which is this um, dark green out here. And we're gonna just put a little bit here in the middle to marry that Wings and the Liberty shade. Just a little bit. Take a little bit more Liberty up here. Okay, I don't know how I feel about the pop of purple but I feel like I don't really know how else to incorporate this purple shade into the palette, like into my looks without doing something like this or like a all over the lid sort of color, which I did in a video um, previously. It's just kind of like random in the palette, which I knew that buying this palette, I knew I think I would struggle incorporating the purple a little bit, but you know what? I think it'll be fine once I get the rest of my makeup done. There's so many times where I do my makeup or I do my eye look and I don't like it until the rest of my makeup is done. So let's go do that. And hopefully I like this look better with that all done. So be right back. Good news guys, all I needed to do is finish up the rest of my makeup. I actually really like how this look turned out. I think it's really pretty. I like this soft green that like goes into the darker green and then that pop of purple. I just think, I think it's really pretty. I actually really like how this look turned out, thankfully, because I was a little on the fence. All I did to finish up my lower lash line was run that purple wisteria shade along there. For blush, I went ahead and used my Pat McGrath Labs, uh, what are these called? Skin Fetish Divine Blush in the shade Flirtatious. And then for lips, stuck with Pat McGrath and I used her uh, like Bridgerton collab lipstick in the shade Nude Romantique 2. So yeah, I'm actually really glad that I made this look. I was a little on the fence about it. Like I said, I had envisioned it in my mind and I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out, but I actually really do enjoy it. So let me give you a little bit closer look up. Sorry. <laughs> I was so distracted by telling you how much I liked it. I didn't really show it to you close up. So alrighty, you guys know the drill. Let's move on to day three. Alrighty, it is day three and we are going to do a shimmery halo eye. If you have watched any of my one week one palettes, that is probably not going to be much of a surprise to you. I feel like I always do at least one shimmery halo eye. So we're going to start off with mixing together this Paloma shade as well as this Fleur shade. With a rougher 15, I just bop back and forth between the two. I want that like pinky Fleur shade, but I don't want it to be as deep and dark. So mixing together those two shades makes like a lighter version of that Fleur. When I first saw that light Paloma shade, I wasn't sure like what I was going to do with it because it doesn't have as much pigmentation to like be a transition shade, like it's too light, but it's not really light enough to be like an inner corner highlight for me or anything and it's matte, but I actually like it in this palette for this exact reason to mix together with other 
shades. I've mixed it with this Liberty shade before as well to make a lighter transition shade. So I like having this shade in there. But now we're just gonna go in with Fleur. And we're just gonna use this brush from Essence. This is their eye blender brush. I got this off Ulta for like a dollar or $2 or something. It's a very affordable brush. And I like the shape of it. It's really good to get up into the crease. We're just going in with Fleur to just deepen it up a little bit, give it a little bit more dimension in the crease. Next, we're gonna do glitter primer all over my lid, and I'm going to use Isle in the middle here, and then this shade right here called Belle as the outer and inner portion of my lid. I think those two shades will look pretty together. So we're gonna take that deeper Belle shade on a rougher O2, and we're going to start by packing this on the outer corner. I am getting some fallout, but I'm fine with it. That's why I do my eyes first, as well as the inner corner. And then before that glitter primer dries, we're gonna go in with Isle, tap it right in the middle here. It's a subtle difference, but I actually really like those two together. I did try to wipe away that fallout and it kind of like stuck on there uh, cause my skin is like tacky from my sunscreen. So that's a little bit annoying, but it'll get covered up with primer foundation and all that anyways. I probably went in with too much. I think that's why I had so much fallout. ABH's shimmers are very thick. They're a very thick formula which I don't mind that. You just kind of have to keep that in mind and not pick up a ton with your brush or your finger. I tend to go very heavy handed with things. <laughs> so I'm not surprised I got fallout. Alrighty, and that is where we're gonna keep the eyes for now. I really like those two shimmers together. Again, they're kind of a subtle difference between the two of them. It's like a greeny sort of gold shade and then a you know more typical gold shade. And I like it with the more pink crease as well. So I am really liking that. I'm happy with how this turned out. So you know the drill. Let me go do my makeup and I'll show you the completed look. And here is the final look for day three for you guys. So I really like how the eye makeup turned out, which is like the whole point of this video. So I'm fine with it. All I did to finish up my lower lash line was mix together that Paloma and Fleur shade, but this base makeup is looking pretty terrible. If it's looking a little bit darker and more orange than it normally does, that's uh, because it is. I tried to set my whole face down with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder. It's in my project pan. I'm trying to use it up. And when I tell you that it oxidized my makeup so much that I had put on a cream bronzer and the places that I set my face with this powder looked as dark, almost not as dark, but almost as dark as the cream bronzer. Like it just... I had to really finagle my makeup to make it look somewhat passable and it looks way too dark, way too orange, dry. I literally can't stand this powder. That's why it's I'm trying to use it up, but um, that was a big mistake. I'll never use it like that again. So I'm just really not happy with the rest of this makeup. But the eye makeup, like I said, I actually really, really like. Also, I got mascara everywhere, like literally everywhere on both eyes. I tried to scrape it off. So if you can see little <laughs> like parts of mascara on my eyes, just anywhere, please ignore that. <laughs> For blush, I went ahead and used my ColourPop. This is their Press Powder Blush in the shade Swirled. And then for lipstick, I used my Milani Matte, matte Finish matte finish Lipstick in the shade Secret. I thought those two worked together really nicely. So overall, like I said, I like the eye look. I like those two shimmers together. I think it's a really pretty look. Just not vibing with my base makeup, but that's not the end of the world. I'm just working for a couple hours today, so it's fine. But you guys know the drill. Let's move on to day four. All right, so for today, we're going to play with the greens a little bit, I'm pretty sure. We are gonna start off first with Paloma, and then I haven't fully decided if I wanna to mix together Paloma with Fleur or Paloma with Liberty here. But we're gonna use these two greens, so we got Wings and Hope here. So I'm like, what shade, crease shade do I want? I'm not wearing this. I'm going out with some of my friends today. Uh, my best friend Courtney is picking up her wedding dress. I'm so excited she gets married in October. And I'm not planning on wearing this. I'm planning on wearing like a mauve light pink sort of dress. So I feel like maybe I should do Fleur. I feel like that would match a little bit better. So we're going to do Paloma first, which I don't think is going to do much. Then we're going to mix together Paloma and Fleur. That was a whole lot of explanation to tell you what crease shade I'm going in with. This is on a Morphe M511. We're just using Paloma first. I don't know if this is really going to do a whole lot. Uh, doing a little something, something. But yeah, this is pretty much my skin tone. Okay. So let's go ahead and do Paloma and Fleur. I'm mixing the two because I don't want the crease shade to be too dark. Yeah. Okay. That's like perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Please ignore my chin. Okay. I'm, I, my skin is going through it. <laughs> and I feel really insecure about my skin a lot of times, but you know, everyone has things they're insecure about and my skin is one of them and that's life. It's okay. You know, no one's perfect. Everyone has insecurities. 
my skin is one of mine for me you know what i mean and that's just why i wear full coverage foundation cover it all up hopefully when i put the rest of my makeup on you won't even be able to tell <laughs> okay i'm gonna go in with just a little bit of flare same brush yeah okay that's good i kind of wanted to deepen it a smidge now we're gonna go real simple and easy and i'm gonna put a glitter primer all over my lid and we're going to take that wings shade on the inner portion of the lid and then that hope shade on the outer portion nothing revolutionary but you guys know that's not my forte I don't do crazy wild looks. Ooh, okay, I like these two together. It's really pretty. I don't mind if it goes up into the crease a little bit. It's gonna get up there throughout the day anyways. Ooh, yeah. I love green eyeshadow. And I feel like both of these are so beautiful. This wing shade is like a minty, almost sort of green. And then this hope shade is like a Christmassy tree, like sparkly green, but not like too Christmassy, you know what I mean? Oh, just something about these two. They're beautiful shades on their own and together. Alrighty, and that's where we're gonna keep the eyes. <laughs> Very simple look, but I love these sort of looks because I feel like it looks like I took a long time with my eyeshadow. Like I really curated this eye look and it just, I feel like it looks really polished and put together, but it was very super simple and easy and took like two minutes. So. You guys know the drill. I'm gonna go finish my makeup and I'll be right back. And here is the final look for day four for you guys. I really, really like how it turned out. I just really love those two green shades together. I know I said that earlier, but they're just so pretty. And I do, like I said, really, really love green eyeshadow. So I'm like biased to this look. Uh, just to finish up the lower lash line, I put a tiny, tiny bit of that Paloma in Fleur shade. I didn't really want the lower lash line too intense um it kind of looks like i didn't really put anything but I'm, I'm here for it for blush i used an oldie but a goodie and i actually don't know if they still make this shade i think they still make this product but i don't know about the shade and it's from lancome this is their blush subtil in the shade sheer amorose i have not reached for this blush in so long and i like remember using it today why i love it so much it's the most beautiful pink soft shade oh i love this i hope they still make this shade i would have to look because i'm not sure and then for lips i have a really extra combination i have on the jacqueline cosmetics lip liner in the shade bourbon i just lined my lips i then went in with my natasha denona i need a nude lipstick in the shade beatrice and then i topped it with a tiny bit of the lunar beauty lip gloss in the shade moon so pretty extra combination but i like it i think i don't know am i totally sold on the lip but it's not the end of the world so overall like i said i really like this look and i'm excited to do one more look for you guys with this beautiful palette. So let's move on to the last day. And just like that, it's the fifth and final day. We're doing another simple eye look today. And we're also gonna get into this peacock shade. I have not used this shade yet. It's the only one in the palette that I haven't used. It's a little deep and dark and like, it's a Saturday. Mike and I are going to a farmer's market and then probably grocery shopping. So is this look gonna be a little glam for that? Yes, but that's okay. We are going to start off by mixing Paloma and Liberty together, and then I'll probably end up just going into Liberty to deepen it up as well. On a rougher 16, we're going to buff this into my crease. Maybe we won't go into just Liberty because I don't want this to be too deep and dark. I know I always say that, but I have a tendency of just wanting things to stay light and airy. Not that you could really with this Liberty shade, but you know what I mean? Wanting things to not go too uh i don't know intense and the next thing i know it's intense and that's not really what i want <laughs> mike started vacuuming so if you can hear that in the background i'm so sorry but like i'm not gonna tell him to not vacuum you know what i mean um next up we're gonna put nyx glitter primer all over my lid and we're just gonna take that peacock shade and also put all over my lid oh it's gonna be a little bit deep and dark but this is a really beautiful shade so i'm excited to use it i haven't used it yet so i'm excited to see like what it looks like on the eyes i'm squeezing like every last ounce out of this nyx glitter glue before i open my new one we're gonna take this peacock shade oh yeah cool well we're going with the smoky eye today <laughs> oh that's way darker than i thought it was going to be shoot yeah that's really really dark which like i like it just was not the vibe I was trying to go for today. I mean, I knew it was gonna be dark on my lid, but I don't know, I wasn't expecting it to be. It looks like black. Oof, that's okay. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm not trying to like, you know, talk bad about the shade because it really is a beautiful shade. It's just a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. So this is what it looks like with just Peacock on my lid. 
I am going to tap wings on top just to try to lighten it, but I wanted to just kind of show it to you what it looks like on its own if you were to do like a smoky eye with this palette. Again, I like this shade. I think it's beautiful. It's just not really the vibe I was trying to go for today when we're going to like a farmer's market in the grocery store. So I am going to go ahead and tap this wing shade on top just to lighten it a little bit to see where that takes me. I don't know if it's going to lighten it much. Okay, so it definitely did. So this is with wings on top and this is with that uh, peacock shade by itself. It definitely did lighten it. I, I like that more. All right, so that is where we're going to leave the eyes. I might add a black ring liner. I don't know. Haven't decided yet. I guess you will see in a second when I come back on, but let me go finish my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, and here is the final look for you guys. I actually really like how it turned out. I feel like it's not as He's going real hard with the vacuuming out there. <laughs> he's still not done. I've literally completed my makeup and he's still vacuuming. I don't know if you can hear it, but anyways, if that's in the background still, so sorry. I don't know what he's vacuuming. I guess our couch? I guess I'll find out in a second. But anyways, I, I did not really end up being as deep and dark as I thought it was going to be, but I do think adding that wing shade on top helped. Again, I like that peacock shade on its own. It just was too dark for today's festivities. Also, I think I said deep and dark a thousand times so i'm so sorry about that to finish up the lower lash line i just mixed together that paloma and the liberty shade for blush i went ahead and used the same one as yesterday because i just thought it was so pretty i wanted to use it again the long comb blush subtil and sheer amorose and then for lipstick i went ahead and used my flower beauty this is her uh, matte lipstick in the shade naked blush it was a little too pink for my liking so i did add the dose of colors lip gloss in the shade can you not on top to kind of like lighten it and cool it off a little bit so overall i'm really excited that i did this one week one palette with this palette for you guys i honestly liked all five looks i feel like yesterday was my favorite though with the greens i just love this wing shade so much right here right there and then that um hope shade was beautiful as well but honestly i liked all the looks that i came up with i think this palette is stunning and beautiful it's a little hard for me to think of looks off the top of my head and i feel like a lot of them end up being a little similar because a lot of the matte shades are similar but for the most part, I am really glad I picked this palette up. I think it's beautiful and I did like all the looks. As always, I'm going to go ahead and ask you guys which one was your favorite down in the comments. I love hearing from you guys down below and knowing like which one was your favorite. Also, let me know if you're planning on picking this palette up because I am just curious. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You're awesome and I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.